The internet gives us unlimited information and possibilities. We can find anything from funny videos to our favorite songs or information on how to solve a homework problem. But we must be responsible with the information we find online. Consider a scenario. Harold wants to write a cookbook and sell it online. He is not good at taking photos, so he searches for images online. He downloads images of different foods and includes them in his book. This might seem okay because it is easy to do, but this is not a fair or responsible way to use information found online. When someone puts their original work online, including their words, images, videos, music, and more, they become the owner of the content. As the owner, they have certain rights, usually considered copyrights, to decide how that content can be used. If you use someone else's words or work as your own, it is considered plagiarism. This isn't fair to the original author and can get you into trouble. If you want to use someone else's content in your work, be sure to reference them to give them credit for their work. When you are using someone's work in a product that you are selling, you should first obtain permission from the author. You might also have to pay for a license to use someone's work. Sometimes, the authors of content make their work available for free use. You can use search engines like Bing to find images, media, and other types of content that are available for others to use. As you use the internet and find information online, make sure you use it fairly and responsibly.